Hi there, we're in Adobe Captivate today. We're going to take a look at a tip that someone showed me a long time ago with the ability to rescale a project's dimensions, that is the height and the width, and the reason we might do this. And also I'm going to show you how to add some graphics in here for maybe some navigation tabs. So let's go under the file menu. I'm going to come down to project info and this is going to tell me the resolution or the height and width of this recording or these slides. Uh, it's 1024 by 768 so I've written that down because I have a short memory and we're going to click OK. Now I want to add those navigational tabs to the bottom of my slides here but I don't want to obscure anything that's on the slide or anything that's been recorded. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find some graphics for those navigational tabs. So I'm going to go over here to Illustrator and I have a website where I purchased some graphics and I purchased a graphic that had this nice tab here. And so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to click on it and I need to find out how wide I can make this in order to fit four across on my slide. Now, do you remember the width of the original slide in Captivate? It was 1024. So I divided 1024 by 4 and came up with 256 pixels. So with this selected in Illustrator, over here in the Properties panel, I'm going to click on this little chain link to maintain proportionality and I'm going to double click here and I'm going to type in 256 pixels and I'm going to hit enter and that will proportionally resize the height of the graphic. It says 45.6 pixels high. I'm going to run that up to about 46 pixels just to keep my sanity. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here to file. I'm going to come down here to export save for legacy and the purpose of this so I can save out this vector graphic as a ping file and have a transparent background so what I'm going to do over here I'm going to make sure the preset is set at ping 24 it's 24 bits of uh, graphic levels and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to uncheck clip to artboard and what this does, this changes the boundaries of this artwork down to the artwork itself, not the size of the canvas this was created on. So I'm going to click here. So this is the size it's going to export out instead of that big giant size. That's really important. Then we're going to come down here to save. And I'm going to go ahead and name this tab1.png. I'm going to save it over to my local folder. I'm going to click save and I'm going to replace the one I did earlier. Now we're actually done in Illustrator. So let me quit. I will save my changes and I will come back to Captivate. Now, do you remember the height of that graphic? It was 46 pixels. We rounded it up to that height. So I need to be able to add 46 pixels of height to my slide, but only on the bottom. So how do I do that? We go under Modify, Rescale Project, and I'm going to bring over this dialog box, and I'm going to uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. I only want to add 46 pixels to the overall height and only have the 46 pixels added at the bottom. So step one, what is 768 pixels plus 46 pixels? Well, I've already done the math. I've got it written down here. It's 814 pixels. Now I'm not going to hit enter. I'm going to hit tab. And what that does, it says the height percentage increase is 106%. But the key thing is to come down here. If the new size of the slide is larger, 
Do I want to rescale the project to fit the new size? No, I don't. I want to keep that project just like it is, but I want to move everything up to the top center or top left and only add the 46 pixels of extra space at the bottom. Here we go. It says this cannot be undone. So here's a warning. Make sure you do this on a copy of your project. Don't do it on your master in case something goes wrong. So do it on a copy and then proceed. Click OK. So now I have an extra 46 pixels of space at the bottom of this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my graphic. I'm going to go to Media, Image, Local, Tab 1, Ping. And it's going to put the graphic up here. Now, I'm going to move this down so it snaps in this corner. Okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom up on this to let's say 150 percent. Now what I want to do is I want to add a button to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my shapes and I'm going to pick rectangle and I'm going to draw out a rectangle how about like that and I'm going to come over here under properties and I'm going to come down here and click use as button the next thing I'm going to do is double click inside of it so I can put some text and I'm going to say section and I like that font I don't like the fill color so I'm going to come over here under style and I'm going to change my opacity let me move my screen over here a little bit my opacity down to 0% so there is my shape with my words that's going to act like a button and right now I think we're good to go I'll apply the action in a few seconds so let me go up here let me save this and I'm gonna name it rescale and I'll put it over here in my local folder okay let me go up to the size and pick best fit and let me come down here and let's do something let's look at the timeline here the timeline shows me there's a smart shape I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner where it shows me the name of this and I'm gonna say nav text and I might even say button below it is the image that's the actual graphic let me hide it and show it so that looks pretty good now I'm gonna rename this image 11 I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna name this nav graphic you want to get into a habit of naming these things otherwise you'll lose your mind now I'm going to go back to my nav button. I'm going to click on the objects in the timeline. I don't like this black border. So I'm going to come back over here to Properties, Stroke, Width, and change it to zero. I like that. Now here's the next thing. You may not have even known you could do this in Captivate. I'm going to hold my Shift key and I'm going to click on the nav graphic object in the timeline so I have both the button and the graphic picked 
I'm going to right click and I'm going to say group. This puts those two items into a group. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the upper right where it says group 1. I'm going to name this nav tab 1 just to keep my sanity. Okay, let's save. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replicate this in a few seconds. In fact, we'll do it right now. So I want to put three more of these across the bottom. So I'm going to right click and duplicate. And I'm going to move this over a little bit. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. I could have also copied and pasted. Now, I have these four tabs here. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to position the last one so it's right in this corner. Okay, This one's right in that corner also. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold my shift key and click on the next group, the next group, and the next group. I'm going to go up under the window menu and I'm going to bring up the panel for a line. I would advise you to have this panel up all the time. It goes up here across the screen horizontally. I want all of these tabs to align to the first one and notice the bounding box on this one is white. Then let me go shift and select, select, and select. I want these all to align across on their tops. So that moved the other three to line up with the top of the first one. And here's the great thing. I want to equally space these across here. So there's a command up here in a line called distribute horizontally. Let's see if it works. Boom. So all of them are equally spaced between the first and the last. I'm going to click off and let's see how it looks. Looks beautiful. Now I'm going to save this. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come over and I'm going to um, click on this first one. And I'm going to go up and it's already named nav tab 1. So I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to nav tab 2, nav tab 3, and nav tab 4. Fortunately, because I duplicated, it incremented the numbers up. Otherwise, I'd rename them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to double click and I'm going to get a hold of this section area right here. See how it's highlighted? And I'll name this, let's say, Topic 1. Pretty exciting. I'm going to come over here into Properties. And I'm going to put Actions. And I'm going to say, Jump to Slide. Now we're going to pretend that I want to send this slide and I want to send it to slide 2. So that's perfect. You get the idea. Save. Now, these tabs are only on this slide. In fact, they're on my title slide and I really don't want them there. So I'm going to press and select all of those. Drag a marquee. In fact, I got to be really careful I don't get a hold of the text title above it. I'm going to go Control or Command X to cut. I'm going to go to the next slide. This is where I want the tabs to start. In fact, I'm going to have the tabs go across these six slides, or I should say two through six. I selected them with my Shift key, and I'm going to go edit, 
paste and that's gonna put a copy of those tabs on every one of my slides here let's right click on the last slide and let's put one in here a new slide and let's put in a conclusion so now that we've pasted the tab graphics across the remainder of the slides let's see how this is going to work so let me go up over here to preview HTML5 in browser and we'll take a look here so it should come up with the title slide first let's click play rescaling a project navigational tabs and then it comes to this slide and it says topic one well we're already on topic one so let's try topic two so this will take us to the topic two slide the topic three slide and the topic four slide and then I'll just click play to continue and it will go to the conclusion okay so I just wanted to show you that you could rescale a project by going under modify rescaling add some height but make sure you turn off maintain aspect ratio add the height you need for the height of your tabs your navigational graphics come down here and make sure you keep the project the same size and then position all the items on the existing slides up in the center and then you can place these along the bottom and then you can go ahead and set up the jumps or the actions you want for each one of those buttons